brands spend 50 billion a year on social media and brands at the same time spend only 10 billion in gaming. However, people spend the exact same amount of time every week in gaming and social media, 12 hours on average. So why is there a $40 billion gap there? The answer is tracking. 100% it's because of tracking. There is no way to know the ROI of investing in a game. What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto. We hack all of our Web3 education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to like this video if you like crypto and Web3 content and be subscribed with notifications on. And in this episode, I'm gonna be going over Sandstorm. Now, if you guys are brand new to the channel, I'm the CEO of Sandstorm, have been since 2021, and we had a really big, exciting announcement this week. We acquired a company called Kiss Metrics last year. So over the last year, I've literally been heads down, hustling. The team at Sandstorm has crushed it, done an incredible job, basically taking this legendary technology and deploying it into gaming. So a goal of ours from the start of Sandstorm has been to get game developers all the tools that they need to grow their business and grow their revenue. We've done that through various different forms. We've done that through a talent marketplace where developers can get work, post their portfolios on there, show it off to brands and share it around. Everything is on chain, so it's verifiable. It's proven that they've done certain things for certain, certain brands. Everything is there and verifiable. Then we have hosting. So we have live stream hosting servers that we provide to pro subscribers. And there are some incredible influencers that use our live stream hosting on a daily basis. Then of course, now we have deep, deep data analytics. It's a first for gaming. It hasn't existed with this human behavioral level of tracking in different gaming environments. So we're really excited to finally release this very improved feature. I mean, it's light years ahead of anything that has existed before in gaming. This is both web three and web two gaming. As the largest 3D artist community in the world, we are very much trying to focus on empowering developers in every way possible. The last and probably the most popular point on our platform has been the UGC creation. So companies like Nifty Island that are very popular right now because they've launched their open world, we work with them and creators go on there, they create content around you know contests, different environments that they can create using collaborative efforts on the platform. And it is just a beautiful example with Nifty Island where when they launched, I believe it was with like 30 islands, 15 of those were from creators on Sandstorm working together creating awesome islands. And it was just a beautiful example of how the UGC part of our platform works. So as an infrastructure piece, we are working with some of the best game developers in the world on their stack. So we fit in, we play nicely with all the other pieces to their tech stack. And it is really exciting to finally have this out. It's been such a long journey to get this fourth piece to the puzzle done. It was the most requested over the last two years. People wanted tracking. That is what Sandstorm is out set out to do. We're working with the best developers to do that. Brands have already been approaching us on a rapid clip to basically say, we want to deploy capital into these game environments. How do we do that? What's the best approach? And our talent marketplace mixed with our analytics really allows for that to happen. So 2024 is going to be dedicated to game developers. We are going after developers. We've worked with hundreds and there are over 3000 on our marketplace now. So there are so many opportunities for developers. If you know a game developer, definitely tag them in the comments. Let me know in DMS. I mean, we have been talking to so many over the last year about how to really fine tune this proprietary tech. And one of the key parts to the acquisition last year and completely reconfiguring how it looked, felt everything on our infrastructure platform for users was listening to the community. Our community has been fantastic. From day one, everybody's been ride or die sandstorm to help move the needle for fellow indie developers. And that's why we're here. We're here for the indie teams, the small teams, the people working out of their garages, the less than 10 people, even the less than 20 people we've seen. The AAA studios, they are in a league of their own. And we've worked with a few of them in the past to get feedback and everything, but ultimately we're here for the indies. So if you're an indie developer and you know them, this is for you. If you'll notice, the link in the description is a brand new website. We reskinned the whole thing, revamped version 2.0 of Sandstorm for this year for all the developers out there. It's a much more clean, professional feel, and I'm really proud of the team and what we've been able to pull off 
over the last year. It's been a crazy past two years of a wild ride, and I'm really excited to be working with everyone. So there will be also a piece for affiliates and influencers on the website soon. We have over 200 now that are actively referring demos to the platform, and there's a lot of bonuses coming to those individuals. So definitely reach out if you're interested in doing affiliates and you know promotional partnerships and things like that always going to be a place for you to make money if you're referring business to Sandstorm. So that is pretty much it. It's a high level video. I wanted to just talk about our mission, why we're headed the way that we're headed and this big news for the entire industry. Like keep in mind that Kissmetrics is just such a legendary technology and it's well known. It's a household name in the analytics space. And we trusted the community to say, what do you guys need the most to grow your business? And everyone said analytics, hands down analytics. That was the first and foremost thing past all other features. They wanted it just number one, we need tracking. So we responded and we're really excited to release this. So all the links will be in the description. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as well as in DMs. And 2024 is gonna be a great year. I'm super hyped and excited for everybody watching this. The channel is more popular than ever. So I'm really eager to communicate more, get more videos out. Now that the the actual, uh, you know, cat's out of the bag, <laughs> it is time for me to start doing more content, get more interviews up and get more people involved. So there will be more of that on the channel in the coming months here. But that is it for this episode. Slap a like on this video if you're interested in gaming and be subscribed. And I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.